Hey guys, Bruce here with DIY Homestead Projects. I want to show you guys something I recently discovered about gas flow in your TIG torch or problems with gas flow in a TIG torch. I'm sure that the seasoned welders out there have experienced this and know exactly how to fix the problem, but I want to show you I'm kind of using an unconventional method for curing this issue. So let me show you first of all what the problem is. Well, the back story is I was welding the other day, just some practice stuff on some steel, mild steel, and uh, my weld was very porous. I had really poor gas coverage, and I was getting a lot of pockets and pores and that sort of thing in the, uh, in the weld, not to mention it was quite black, and I thought, well, I'm probably not getting gas flow, so I checked my tank, my tank is getting low, but I thought that I had plenty of pressure in there to make a decent weld with. So I started looking into it, and I was online on YouTube, and I ran across a video by, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's out of Phoenix, an artist out of Phoenix. And he did a video showing some issues with some gas flow, and I found out that that was my problem. So here's a look at the uh, collet that I was using. And, you know, a common rookie mistake, you see how it's all twisted up? Anyway, he showed how if you tighten this down to tighten up your tungsten and you're doing it while the uh, collet is still hot, you'll end up getting a bulge in the collet right here where the, thread, where the, uh, where the cuts are. So I thought, well, maybe that's what my problem is. But the way this works is the gas flows through the torch, comes up through the handle, and then comes up and out the front, right into the collet body. And as the collet sits in the body, the gas has to go right down here between the collet and the collet body, travels down through here, and then comes out these holes at, near the tip. So the problem is, is the gas comes down through here and if you have a bulge in the collet, it's unable to make it down here through to the holes or the flow is restricted and then you have poor gas flow. No matter what your, your flow meter reads, you can turn that thing way up, but if it can't flow through here, it can't shield your weld. So I got to looking at this and I have another collet that uh, came with the torch. This is a 330 seconds. It also came with a 16th. So I put my calipers on it. Yeah, this is the brand new 16th inch collet. So let's look at this. 5.2 at the very tip. 5.12 so it has a slight taper to it. And that's a stock factory CK Worldwide collet that came with the torch. Well, I figured I needed some more. It only came with one 332nd collet, which is what I've been using. So I purchased some cheap collets off of uh, Amazon. These are by Welding City. 10 and 24, call it 330 seconds, and it's 10 pieces. These were about one third to one quarter the cost of a CK Worldwide call it. Now this is the reason why, or one of the reasons why. Let's look at a brand new call it, because I changed out, I put a new one in there, and I was still having the same gas problems. Still had poor coverage. So just at first glance, everything looks good. You know, you're like, well, that's a nice copper call it. Should be fine. Put that in the uh, torch and fired it up, and I was still getting bad gas coverage, just like I was before. It wasn't really any better. I thought, well, maybe it is my uh, tank pressure. My tank's getting low. And then I ran across that video. So let's look at this one. We'll zero this out. The other one was 
527, 527, 522. So it has a slight taper, but 527, 529, 529, 53. Clear back up at the top there. <laughs> and I also noticed that it doesn't doesn't seem to push in quite as far as the other collets. So I thought, well, all right, well, what am I going to do about that? I got this package. This was only about eight bucks. They're about uh, 80 cents a piece or so. And the collets that come from CK are about two and a half bucks a piece. Well, it depends on where you buy them. You might be able to get them for a buck and a half. But still, that's twice twice what it is for a, one of these El Cheapo knockoffs, Chinese knockoffs. So I took a brand new collet out of this package and I chucked it up in my drill on this end and I just make sure you don't crimp it down super duper tight. Put it in the drill, then I just took a regular old piece of sandpaper, held it around the collet like this, and then ran that across there a few times while the drill was turning to sand it down. Smooth it down a little bit and sand it down. Now this collet I have, I have modified. So let's look and see what it was. Remember the one right out of the package was 529, 527. So we're zeroed out here. This is the one that I've worked over. 525, clear up at the end there. Right in the middle. 520, right down out, out here at the tip. 518. This was the first one I did. I didn't really know how far to go, but I just took it down to try to match it up with the uh, with the original CK Worldwide collet that was made to fit in the torch and just ran that down. And then when I put that in, see how much closer this fits up here? It goes in there much farther than what it used to, but I've got a nice gap now between the collet and the collet body so the gas can flow through here down through the collet and then come out where it's supposed to come out. Now is this the uh, cure-all problem to the problem? Maybe not. I'm sure uh, the simplest and easiest would be to use collets that are designed for your torch. Use the actual CK Worldwide collets and you're never going to have to deal with this problem. But I got this package with 10 of them, and that's going to last me probably a year or two, if not more, depending on how much welding you do. And I can uh, go ahead and use those using this method. It only takes a minute or two to sand that down so it works. Put that in there, put the torch together, and did some welding, and voila, I cured the problem. Even with my argon tank being at a pretty low pressure setting, I still need to get a new bottle. I'm probably, a, well, maybe next week I'll have to get a new bottle. But uh, I should be in pretty good shape now with this setup and be able to do welding welds with this uh, standard consumables and have decent coverage, or as decent as it can be with that setup. So hopefully this will help someone out. For us rookies that don't know what the heck we're doing, if your collets are coming out all twisted and bulged and nasty like this and it won't hold your tungsten, you want to put a new one in there. If you happen to have already bought these cheapos, you can still use them and make them work using this method. So hopefully this will help someone out there. And uh, maybe if nothing else, kind of show you the importance of... Uh, changing out some of your consumables if you're having problems. So you're not fighting that along with, you know, just the uh, inexperience like I have trying to figure out how to make it work and make a decent weld. Hope this helps you guys out. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.